Welcome to Demotion Ranch. This episode is brought to you by AmmoForSale.com and if you check in the description there's a coupon code to their website. I'm going to be shooting at some drywall. This has been requested a lot for uh, basically an overpenetration test on shotgun rounds through drywall. Let me show you what we have set up down here. So this is four makeshift walls. This is one half inch drywall around two by fours and it's hollow inside just like a non-insulated wall. And there's four of them, so eight pieces of drywall. I'm going to fire a few rounds through these, and we'll see how many walls they penetrate. Here's the shells we're going to be using. This is some number eight birdshot. This next one is some number four buckshot, and these are clear so you can see those in there. It looks pretty cool. The next one is double aught buckshot, a little bit bigger. And then we have the one and a quarter ounce slug. So let's do some testing. All right, a little bird shot first. This is coming out of the Mossberg 930 JM Pro Tactical. Let's go check out the damage. Wall one successfully passed through. Wall two completely passed through as well. And it looks like it just stopped right here. That's all dust from wall two. So this wall is still completely intact. Just a couple little dents from the BBs here. So basically, if your kid was behind two walls, they would have got peppered pretty hard, but probably not fatally. All right, so that bird shot went through two walls. I have a feeling this number four buck's gonna go through everything. We'll find out. First wall, dead. Second wall, dead. Third wall, dead. And fourth wall, straight through. The hole in the first wall, second wall, third wall, fourth wall. Look at that spread. All within probably six feet. So that number four penetrated all four walls. So. I don't see any reason for me to spend the time taking all those walls down and putting up fresh panels. I'm just going to fire this double op buck through just to see what it does. We know it's going to go through all three, but I kind of want to see the damage, and I'll go ahead and fire the slug after that. Double op buck. Let's go check it out. Once again, went through every wall. See double holes there. Looks about the same as the number four buck. I think I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna go ahead and fire one more of the double, double out buck and I'm gonna shoot it up here at the top. All right, double out buck again, going at the top of the walls. Alright, let's see what kind of a hole this one and a quarter ounce slug can put in there. I'm going to shoot at the bottom of the target. Wow, that thing has some recoil. Let's check it out. One solid hole. Big old exit wound all the way through and looks like it was dropping and just nicked the bottom wall. Right there. Thanks to AmmoForSale.com for sending me the ammunition for this video. They also sent me these. These are some Hornady SST shotgun slugs. And what they are, let me pull them out, they're actually Sabo rounds. If you can see in there, there's a little bitty bullet, little bitty for this size shotgun shell, in the shotgun shell. What Sabo rounds are is they put a smaller diameter and lighter projectile in a larger case, larger barrel and when it's fired, it's lighter so it goes much faster. It has a little cup around it, kind of acting as a wad in a shotgun. It has a cup around it. As soon as it comes out of the barrel, that cup flies off and you have a much smaller projectile flying and they're going way faster, good for penetrating armor. And that's what I'm gonna to try to be using them to do. I have, uh, I ordered an AR500 armor plate and it should be here. It shipped out this week, so it should be here pretty soon. I'm gonna do some testing. I'm gonna try my hardest to get through that. Also, 
a viewer made these for me. I have several of them. They are sable rounds. They go in a normal size shotgun shell and they fire out and th these have fins to keep them flying straight. This is hardened steel and this should make a great penetrator rounds and he sent me several of them so I can try them in concrete and also in uh, an armor plate. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to annotate a uh, coupon code to AmbleForSale.com. Really appreciate the support those guys are giving me and thanks for watching the Militia Ranching. I'll see you next time. And I forgot to mention, I spent a lot of time and money making these stands, and I cut out a bunch more pieces of drywall. So I plan on doing a whole lot more tests. You guys tell me what you want to see shot at this, even custom shotgun rounds like spark plugs or gummy bears or whatever you want to see. Comment in this video. Let me know what you want to see. I will do it. See you later.